Hello viewers, my name is Muhammad Farooq and today I would like to share with you summary of a wonderful book, Moonwalking with Einstein. So those of you who have not studied the Einstein, there is one famous anecdote about Einstein that someone asked him that what is your phone number. Then Einstein replied him that I do not know my phone number. There is one notebook over there, you can look my phone number over there. And uh, that person uh, felt a bit strange because Einstein was the most popular uh, scientist and he was the main guy in his era as, as, a, as an intelligent person. So he asked the Einstein why you, don't, why you cannot recall your number. He replied that I do not need to remember that thing, I do not need to memorize my number. It's available on the book, I can write it anywhere and I can then see it whenever I need to tell it to someone. So you can imagine that uh, when you are walking on moon with someone like Einstein then you cannot rely on his memory because you are aware about his habit. So this book is written by the Joshua Fair. He was a, he became memory champion. He is the person, one of the uh, one of the key persons, one of the most prominent person who could remember the name of the things, the name of the books, many things compared to the rest of us. This book it tells a story that he the, the writer is with the Einstein and they went to the moon. Suddenly they lost the navigation and now they do not know how to move. And then he tells the Einstein that I know all these things, there is no need to worry, we can go back, we can go again to our, uh, our place where we are supposed to go. And then Einstein asks him that how is it possible, how you can do it. He said that I remember everything. So this book tells about how to remember the things. So basically the concept is that, that whenever you are going to some new place, let's say the author went to the moon, you are going to some new city or you are reading something new. Then to recall the things, then to memorize the things, it is recommended that, that you associate the things with something which you know very well. Let's say our room, let's say our home. We know every corner of our home, we know every corner of our room. Then if you are going on moon, what you can do, you can associate something, for example mountains of your, of your moon with the sofas at, at your home. You can associate the tables with the stones or something like this. You can associate the things, it will help you in memorizing the things. So this book talks about the ways in which we can memorize the things. So there are some, some concepts. First, he, ta he, he, he tells uh, to the Einstein uh, in, 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 the, in an imaginary story that he is telling the Einstein that how he has remembered all these things and when they go back, he, he tells him that he first created a mind map in his mind. He created a universe uh, of moon just like his home that this place is a uh, drag room, this place is the main, main room, this place is sofa and this place is lamp. So he, he kept on remembering the things by associating those things with, the, with, his, with, his, with his room. And then he associated, uh, the other thing is that once you associate the things, chances are that you, wo you want, you cannot uh, uh, give everything a different name. You have to create chunks of the, of the, of the information. Let's say you can uh, count the mountains and stones, the things placed in your, uh, in, in, your, in your room like sofa or maybe the table, these kind of things. You create groups of the information that this information is related to this thing, this information is related to this thing. And uh, uh, the first information was that you create a memory palace. The second thing is that you create the chunking and you create the chunks, you create the groups. And the third thing is that what you do? You replicate it, you kind of repeat it again and again, okay? The sofa is mountain, uh, it, the sofa is just like my, my home and it, 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 is, it is a mountain. And uh, you, you have to repeat it, you have to repeat it two to three times, then you will remember that I have associated what thing with which thing. And uh, then fourth part is that visualize it. What happens is that the book tells that we humans remember the pictures. We, long ago, when humans could not communicate in a better way, we could only see the things. And this is very, uh, very much clear that, that we humans observe someone, we understand more things than by talking. So to keep the things in the visual, to memorize the things. And the fifth part is that remember the things in form of story. Stories we can recall again and again compared to, uh, compared to, in, uh, uh, compared to recalling the things as an information. So the memory champion, five tips to remember any things you can use while remembering anything. First thing is that create a memory palace. Second thing is create the chunks. Third thing is see the things, uh, uh, repeat the things again and again. And fourth thing is visualize the things. And fifth thing is that remember in shape of the story. This is the summary of the book. The main concept is that those people who are memory champ champions, they associate the new things with something at their home. 
I'm sure you have seen the competitions on TV where people are telling about the numbers when you tell them one number and then they remember it. What they do, they basically associate every number with something in their home and then they kind of repeat that thing. So this is all I would like to share today with you the summary of Moonwalking with Einstein. I'm sure you liked it. If you liked it, there are many summaries on my YouTube page. You can, uh, those, uh, the, the, the books are mainly on self-help, on business management, time management, productivity, uh, social issues. There are many books. I'm sure you will love the channel. Moreover, I have provided my insights. There are several research courses available on my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please share it with others. Thank you so much.